Revelio. Rebellion. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Revelio. Rebellion. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. to see you again. Farewell for now.
I was wondering when I'd see you again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Clever? How offensive. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you more about Alahamora. Where should I look for more demiguy statues and moons? All of my usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can... 
You are to be commended. Hogsmeade, here I come. Glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Have you ever heard of a mud You've made Upper Hogsfield safer, and for that, I thank you. I do appreciate what you went through to find my brother. Thank you. Thank you for passing through. Revelio. Aloha, Mora. Revelio. What do we have here? Hello, Hamora.
Revelio. The tales of Beetle. I should investigate. I thought that headmaster would ensure there'd be no mud at home. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Out of a storybook. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh. Thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabel was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed, and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. Revelio. What do we have here? A demigod. Expelliarmus. Glacius. Depolta. Lumos. Reparo.
Irondale's not half as tough as it sounds. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. I find the rarest beast in the forest, I do. You're lucky if you find a rat. <laughs> One less poacher in the wizarding world. Rebellion. Brottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Sirona's box of letters. See about the Hawk Clumps and the box of letters. That's all the Hawk Clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. Revelio. Either I'll have to fight that troll.
Confirm them. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wiggermill potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. Especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. 
I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. 
Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Revelio. Do cooperate, won't you? Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanol. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. I rescued a Jobanol. Deke hopes your Jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cosy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Repairer.
Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. No, you don't. Let me hear it. Rebellion. Rebellion. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. 
You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deek will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Mine now, Demi guys. Deke hasn't seen this many. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready.